Greetings and welcome to Drama in the Dirt. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I'll be updating you a little bit on just a few things and then I'll be doing a little historical piece. And I'll just have a very short episode. And then I hope you saw our uh, show uh, throwing uh, Doug Relic Iron Blades. So as always, God bless you and keep you and uh, thank you for uh, being with us. Oh, look at this. It's a place I've been over. This is my yard. And in case you don't know, my yard is uh, probably 1830s, 1840s. Of course, there's a newer house on it now. But again, concentrating in one area. This was the place I worked the other day. You can see the old brown spots. And I'm running the Ace. The Ace is especially designed to find coins. A lot of people make fun of them. But uh, when you get that double bell tone real fast, you've got a really high conductor in there. And that ran, that said four inches, it was more like three. But uh, anyway, do that gritting. You'd be surprised what you find. I can't believe I found this. This was an area I went over with the uh, Max. So uh, I'm going to do a program on the Ace sometime. A lot of people don't understand how they're different uh, than other machines. I mean, a lot of people don't like the bingity bong, and I understand that. But uh, they were designed to find coins, so. Well, got a little crotal bell. I've never seen mine pointy on the bottom. Let me see, i got to try to get my light over my uh, camera. I had shooting 720. My phone, I don't know what's wrong with it. I keep saying it's full. And I keep clearing more storage. Let me come around this way. Get that cleaned out. I'm sure it's got the uh, clapper in it still. I got my Max back. They sent me a whole new console for it. The speaker went out on it. So I end up with a new console. Uh, Garrett, they do a great job. They send a new uh, cover for the coil. And uh, no complaints. Is this recording? I got me a weedy. I'm really uh, trying to do a good job of uh, gritting here, even though I'm not using the markers. That looks, does that look like an older one? Not that I can tell. All right. I mean, I can hear it plain as day. And I've been working along the sidewalk forever. <laughs> So you just got to keep at it. No silver yet. There's got to be a silver coin out here somewhere. Moles will just work this place over like crazy. So, you know, once they work, it's always good to go over it again because, uh, you know, they move stuff around. So if you got a coin on its side and they push it flat, then you're in the money. Let me see, that works good. That is a sweet hinge, isn't it? That's got to be solid brass. It rang a solid 80. And it was way too loud for a penny. Whew. Muscles are fatigued. I'm shaking. All right, that's it. Oh, look. I didn't get the light to come on. Get over here. No matter where I put it, it didn't work. Here we go. Another lock. Oh, I hit it. No, I didn't. Isn't it beautiful? It's worth the trip, that's for sure. I wonder what I can do is take my hat off, maybe. Isn't that something? Look at that cover. And that's an old timey keyhole. Yeah, it was a noisy, jumpy mess, but I dug it anyway. Hot dog. Soak it in oil, maybe we can pick the lock. Hmm. 
I thought I'd shoot this for you. I was downtown as far as an update on the road tear out a couple of weeks ago. Obviously this is not metal. But they were about two feet deep. I got a tone so I kind of scratched around. Never did recover any metal but I did recover this piece of uh, railroad tie. So I will bring you a historical piece of why this railroad tie was two feet down in the middle of the street. There used to be a trolley in town. Now I'll take you to that historical piece. Thank you. I thought I'd get a shot of this. Uh, this is a marker. Uh, there are several of these and it's about the Dayton Springfield and Urbana Electric Railway. And there's a little uh, article here that is on the marker. The Dayton Springfield and Urbana Electric Railway was an interurban rail system that ran between the cities of Urbana, Springfield, and Dayton. Its beginnings can be traced to the franchise given to William H. Hanford to operate a single line of electrical railway between Springfield and the southern boundary of Champaign County in 1895. Hanford then sold his rights to John G. Webb of Springfield and Colonel Frederick Colburn of Kentucky, who along with other syndicate members formed the Dayton Springfield and Urbana Electric Railway. The Boston promoter Arthur E. Appleyard joined the syndicate and brought investment monies, organizational skills, and energy to the venture. He quickly became managing editor and treasurer and the real driving force of this railway. The railway was organized in two divisions, one operating between Dayton and Springfield and the other between Springfield and Urbana. Uh, no doubt it went on into Bell Fountain. I'm not sure why that's not mentioned here, but uh, like I say, my grandparents used to ride it, so uh, to Bell Fountain. <laughs> I thought I'd update you on this item here. I found this, uh, well, I think it was two episodes ago. And I posted on ID Me, and uh, someone came back and said uh, it's possibly a uh, faceplate to a uh, old-timey uh, picture viewer. But I'm not sure. Why would they make it out of cast iron? And why would it uh, be so small? It doesn't really fit your face. So, that was the best I could come up with on that. And I'll post a picture of uh, the viewer. Which the viewer I found was made of wood, so uh, I don't know. That's all I can tell you. Greetings and welcome to Drama in the Dirts, Throwing Relic Iron. This is one blade that I have fashioned out of a piece of uh, relic iron. And it, of course, is a throwing knife. And then I'm going to even throw a railroad spike today. 
and then I'll be spending uh, most of my time trying to cut cards. I trust you enjoy this new series. I am absolutely thrilled to bring it to you. And then of course we have the heavy axe, which is an old shake axe, which I recovered. And then of course a point, a combine or a hay mower, sickle bar mower point. And then the comma, uh, which is simply a cutting device, scythe blade. And it's very thin, it's very sharp, but later on sometime I'll be probably cutting things with it, so I'll let you know on that. So thank you for joining us on Drama in the Dirt's Throwing Relic Blade.